Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for being the strong backbone that I needed to bring me into this world. Thank you for paying the price for all these years, making sure that your juice kept on spilling over. See, I knew it was something about your beauty, of how beautiful your joy just so happened to spread off into the world. I, I know that it's a treat to just have you around. Every oh, single day of my life, I swear, this love is unconditional. You are the most valuable piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Mom, I love you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For everything that you do, you continuously give me the, the necessary valuable means of the puzzle that I actually need to connect them together. Yeah. My heart can never be full because, well, for one, I'm not done giving. Yeah. You're not done giving. Yeah. We're not done giving each other the love that we need to give. Yeah. See, I always knew that there was something about you from the way that you just walk and make the whole world stop. Your juice keeps on spilling and spilling and spilling over our stuff. Mm. You are the most valuable piece of my puzzle. Mm. A treat to have around. Mom, I love you. From your beauty and your grace and Oh, Jesus, I can't help but just be amazed at how, at how valuable of how my heart <laughs> keeps going spontaneously around like orbits around the sun. I know that you, you make me who I am. Yeah. And I will never get enough of your love from the bottom of my heart.
You're a oh, you're a solicitous mother with a vivid mind. You'll be damn. Oh, you'll be damned if you allow anyone to tamper with your pearl, faith, joy, or pride. Peace, poetry, and penance. I do something like that too. Thank you. All right. Where do I doubt it? I have faith life will continue to treat the queen like royalty. Peace, poetry, and pink. All right. You know, you, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have a glass on, so but it says John chapter 3, verse 16. <laughs> You don't believe in playing with emotions, and because you don't like your emotions to be played with at any time, peace, poetry, and pimping. Yeah. Yeah. Pimp, I got over there. Pimp, I knew he was gonna get you. I, I, I knew he was gonna get you. When he stood up and fixed his tie and hit you with that. Good evening, my first given honor to God. <laughs> Numbers and numbers never end. If it takes money to make you happy, your search for happiness will never end. Peace, poetry, and peace. Can you read my father's handwriting? I got it now. I had to read it about three times before I got it. I got to do it. He said, Mothers walk with their heads held high. A mother's love won't allow anyone to tamper with her faith, joy, or pride. Peace, poetry, and peace. Yeah. All right, all right. A mother's love is to protect, provide, and improvise, even when us fathers slip sometimes. Peace, yeah. poetry, and pimping. Poetry and pimping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Signature. Yeah, those are words from uh, a few poems that I have wrote for all you mothers. Y'all take them home with y'all. And I'll put them on the refrigerator, in the car, <laughs> or on your work desk. Yeah. And every time you, yeah. you yeah. want something to read and get some inspiration, y'all can look at that. Uh. Read it. Hell, even pass it on to somebody if you have to. Right. Yeah, yeah. And at the same time, the math that I have on the tables, y'all can take them with y'all too. So, we're going to get this uh, Mother's Day celebration keeping on going. Are y'all ready for your next poet to come to the mic? Yeah. All right. Y'all show y'all love. Build the energy for poet. Yes, 
A mother's love is nine, maybe even ten months in a few hours of giving birth. A mother's love deserves to be shown what her time is worth. A mother's love is needed, like breastfeeding, providing healthy knowledge of a better living and well-being. A mother's love is encouraging. A mother's love is nourishing. Mothers walk with their head held high. A mother's love doesn't allow anyone to tamper with her faith, her joy, or her pride. A mother's love is to protect, provide, and improvise. Even when us fathers slip sometimes. Out of 365 days, mothers only have one day to feel motherly. Instead of one day out of 365 days, let's continue to create 399 ways to make our mothers feel like every day is Mother's Day. And worth living to keep giving a mother's love for another 499 days. A mother's love is always praying. I dedicated that piece to all the mothers that's in the building, especially to eight mothers that I know in my life. The first three mothers will be my great grandmother, my grandmother, and my aunt Avern. The other three mothers will be my mother and my two feet. The last two mothers will be Mama Sharon and the mother of my son. Peace, poetry, and pen. Thank y'all. Let me start with your ethereal hips and the joyful essence of your soft thick thighs. Staring into those beautiful bedroom eyes revealed what's on your soul, this is mine. Your need of a king who would spend some quality time. He won't disguise lies or lies, respecting your morals, knowing there's more to you than just hips and thighs. Your exquisite. Uh, Vivid queen with a solicitous mind. You're pleasing to a king's taste, solicitous in many ways. Even a blind man can stand next to you and feel that you are a blessing. Brightening every day, making living feel more heavenly. Y'all give respect so y'all expect nothing less but common sense and common respect. You're strong, so this is clean. When it all boils down, you hold your own common ground. So let me get back to your solicitous mind. Those beautiful bedroom eyes for him and die. The way y'all walk with the glide, the way y'all live y'all life with pride. Y'all get what y'all need until y'all are satisfied. Y'all don't believe in playing with emotions because y'all don't like for y'all emotions to be played with at any time. All the soulless mothers in the building, can y'all please stand to your feet? And if you're not standing to your feet, I'm going to assume you consider yourself to be a princess. <laughs> yeah. So can y'all do one favor for this poet? Him. Keep up the good work on keeping yourself so listen. Peace, poetry, and him. Thank y'all. Yeah.
Now I'll give it up one more time for Poet Pimp. So, uh, yeah, damn. I tell you myself to tell. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep this going, man. I got a queen coming to the stage, man, and she does a lot of things, books, poetry. She might sing and break dance. <laughs> So I need y'all to show some energy for the next queen that's going to come and bless this mic. Build the energy. Show some love for Lillian Mars J. So, some of you know me as Mars J as a poet, so follow me on IG at M A R S underscore J A J A Y underscore, or go to my bookstore, Hull House Publishing Bookstore on IG, all together one word, or on Facebook, Hull House Publishing and Bookstore, or Marcita Jordan on Facebook. All right, I'm gonna do a piece. Um, since we are doing Black Queens, I, I mean, you know, I'm gonna do Black Queen. Um, last year when I did Black Queen, everybody was up here doing everything else. So I thought I was gonna come different this year. But I think I'll give y'all a little bit of, of Black Queen again. Black Queen, the perception. What a misconception of the black woman. Because she's overprotected, she's viewed as aggressive. Misunderstood because she understands her responsibility of the seed she plants in humanity. The power of her lips can break a man's strength or speak life into his esteem. Can reach the ears of God in heaven or breathe inspiration into future kings and queens. There is none greater than the depth of her love that runs as deep as the melanin that seeps into her pores and pumps the life of culture through her veins. That she uses to shape the mindsets of multitudes. Her silent sufferings and struggles no one seems to see, yet she rises like sunshine, beaming with the strength of her resiliency. Her hustle is justifiable because it's always for the betterment of her babies. So whether she's stripping, slanging, or smoking, she is still regal because her hard intentions are the code to make it work. The evolution of a black queen is like tapping into the realm of higher powers, the power of love. She shines, she is brilliant, she exposes shame. The power of love, she squashes the notion of comparison and competition. The power of faith, she takes circumstance and adversity and makes them malleable, bending and molding them into the precious art of triumph, a mantle that is the expression of her gloriousness. Her name is daughter, sister, mother, wife, lover, bird carrier, dream supporter, visionary, legendary, phenomenal, magical. She is the image of victory because she is the tutelage of women. She is the essence, the evolution, and the existence of the Black Queen. I was gonna sing for y'all tonight. <laughs> but you can't get the music together, so. <laughs> All right. All right, the next piece is for the brothers. Brothers, do you know the power that you possess when you give a sister your complete attention? Yeah. For having a man's mind on you is addictive and an aphrodisiac. 
it is like a neurological vibe that is dope and sexy. It is like dopamine and pheromones scaling between the two like beautiful frenzy polarization. Fucking with the functions of her amygdala and her cortex until her hippocampus is high. Brother, do you know the power that you have when you give a sister your complete attention? For having a man's mind on you is like him mastering a Jedi mind trick where he suspends your control long enough to touch and make love to your soul. It's like a superpower. It is filled with the substance of her kryptonite where she loses her resistance, her defense, and her independence all in the consistence of your attention. And it is a time where she is, you are her weakness and her strength. So brother, never underestimate or under underrate the power that you have in giving a sister your complete and undivided attention. Because when you give her attention, you are telling her that you trust her to reside in the same place as your vision. 